Jordan on the 18th green there, it was just relief more than anything else. A bit of emotion shown after you sunk that par part. Yep, definitely. Um, I mean, what a tough day it was for me. Uh, obviously, I got off to a good start, birding the first two holes. And um, just, yeah, just my putter went cold. I missed some short putts and the wind picked up a lot. And that was definitely the hardest day we've had all week. And... Uh, yeah, I just wasn't hitting fairways um, on certain holes, so then it was making me have to scramble. And around this course, it's very, very difficult. Um, but I just kept saying to Olivia, I just kept saying, I just got to hang on because obviously having the five-shot buffer coming into today is, you know, is what you need um, if something like today happens. And it still let me be in the tournament still, rather than being out of it if I was tied for the lead coming into today. So at not one point out there did I, uh, did I give up. So I just said, just keep grinding, just keep grinding. Even after 16, making that bogey, I just, uh, just said to myself, just, just hang in there. And um, fortunately, um, you know, really good tee shot down 17 and then a nice shot in and, and a nice putt. And even though the putter wasn't good today, it really uh, made up for itself on the last couple of holes <laughs> with some nice uh, 10 and um, 12 footers. So, I mean, I'm, I'm over the moon. I'm glad I could get the job done and uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> um, must be so draining. We've, we've seen you in this position at the Australian PGA Championship as well, where you went down to Cam Smith in that playoff. Mm. Any thoughts of that creeping into your mind, having a lead on the final day? And uh, look, obviously yesterday I was asked about that and of course I remember it and of course it's there, but I just did my best to not put that in my mind and just focus on what I had to do today, which was go out and and play the best that I could and um, obviously today the best that I could do was two over par and you know fortunately enough it was good enough to get the job done. Um, heading into the next couple of weeks for you now, um, European Tour final stage qualifying school, um, keep the momentum rolling over there and, and lock up a card, that's obviously the goal. Yeah, 100% the plan, it's, um, it's such a bonus for me this week because my New Zealand Open exemption um, was going to run out at the end of this year. So I had to keep my card this year. And obviously missing the New Sales Open and the Australian Open the next two weeks, it was going to be a huge hit to me uh, in, the money, in the money list. So, you know, winning this week obviously takes care of next year here in Australia for me. So now I can, now I can go and focus on, um, on, on Europe and, yeah, go over there and hopefully come back with a card. And, and that's always what I've dreamed of is, you know, playing here and playing over in Europe. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a very much a possibility now. Um, European Tour, Challenge Tour, um, are there any other tours on the radar? Is it all, all mainly in Europe for you? No, no thoughts of web.com qualifying or anything like that? Not for this year, no. Um, I'm just sticking with Europe for now. I see how I go next year. Um, obviously, in the future, I wouldn't rule it out, but I've tried for Europe the last couple of years, so I would like to go over there if I could. Um, so I'm just going to stick with that for now and, and see how it goes. And uh, coming back for the Australian PGA Championship at the end of the year? Yeah, of course. I've got some unfinished business there. So <laughs> um, obviously I'm um, really excited for that event too. So, um, you know, really looking forward to, to coming back from Spain. And obviously having the, the World Cup of Golf there, it gives me a nice week to, to get over the, the jet lag from Spain and, and then be ready for that. So I'm really excited. Yep. Just for those of us who will never win a professional golf tournament, which is most of us, what is that moment like on 18 when you're standing over that putt that you know is to win the tournament? It's, uh, this one was a little different for me. Um, oh, sorry. My, uh, I lost my grandma a couple of weeks ago. So, um, Pretty special this week. Yeah. <laughs> I told Olivia, but... This week would be for, so it really meant a lot. So I was, funnily enough, it was almost like the Happy Gilmore movie where he was saying "Grandma" over the ball. I literally said to myself, "Going into the putt, that this one was for." 